Lenses are expensive, and cine lenses cost a few times more than your art lens. Yet filmmakers prefer cine lenses over photo lenses. Why is that? What are the benefits of using a cine lens? How is it different from a photo lens? Watch today's video to find out. Cine lenses might be expensive, but these are indispensable for filmmakers. So let's start with the exterior. Looking at a cine lens, you'll see markings for aperture and other controls and grooved rings. These markings and rings are different from a photo or still lenses, which help filmmakers bypass many problems faced with other lenses. As for build quality, these special lenses come with an all-metal body made durable for heavy use. So regardless of the weather or the scene, these lenses put out a stellar performance. The cherry on top is that these lenses have fixed diameters, so an accessory for one lens will work on every other in your arsenal. However, cine lenses are bigger and bulkier to embody these indestructible features. While these attributes of a cine lens set it apart from a photo lens, the main advantage of these lies in functionality. You see, cine lenses allow filmmakers to keep their subjects in focus even when they're moving. This is where those exterior markings come to play. When a subject is moving, the cameraman simultaneously adjusts the focus ring to keep it in focus and knows the travel distance and when to stop. In addition, these lenses come with grooves on the rings for follow focus systems and utilizing that, the cameraman can smoothly pull focus. Apart from that, the focus rings go beyond 270 degrees, allowing the filmmaker to go from minimum focus distance to infinity for more focus throw. This feature significantly reduces focus breathing. But that's not all. These lenses are also called parfocal lenses. What does that mean? It means that when you zoom in on your subject, you won't need to reposition the frame. Instead, these parfocal lenses will help keep the subject centered as you zoom in and out. Moving on to more technical features, cine lenses don't use aperture. Instead, it's much more sophisticated than that. For example, you'll find iris rings with T-stop markings. This helps filmmakers measure precisely how much light will travel inside the lens. So you're not just controlling how wide the blades open. Another feature available to cine lenses only is the manual control over exposure. It's so precise that the exposure remains the same regardless of the weather, ambient, and scene. Furthermore, these lenses have the internal zoom feature. When you zoom in with these, the lens itself doesn't extend. Instead, all the changes happen internally. It's a huge plus point for filmmakers. When the camera is on a stabilizer rig, the cameraman doesn't need to worry about balance when zooming in or out. Lastly, the glass inside the lens. Professional photo lenses usually come with high-end glasses, so what's the difference? When shooting directly under the sun and in other difficult shooting circumstances, the difference comes to light. These lenses are built to ensure sharpness in every lighting condition imaginable without any distortions like chromatic aberration, fringing, barrel distortions, vignetting, etc. Now that you know why filmmakers use cine lenses, it's time to look at the differences between these lenses and photo lenses. Let's start with manual control. With photo lenses, settings like aperture control and exposure live inside the camera. In other words, you can electronically adjust those. But that's not the case with cine lenses. So every control you need to tweak lives on the lens's body, granting the filmmaker complete control without pushing buttons and shuffling the menu. Furthermore, features like iris control and extended focus throw give the cameraman precise control to craft the masterpiece. Also, the smoothness of the focus rings of a cine lens can't be beaten by a photo lens. The smoothness allows the recordings to be jitter and shake free. Then there's maintaining exposure under difficult light conditions. While professional lenses can take you a long way, those can't beat cine lenses capability to maintain exposure. That also means you'll find minimal, if any, distortions in cine lenses. Furthermore, every cine lens puts out the same level of performance regarding color and sharpness. So changing the lens won't mean extra work in post-processing. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about photo lenses, 
the brands aren't very strict about keeping colors the same. On the other hand, photo lenses are much more affordable and lightweight than cine lenses. Also, you need a lens for the road, need one for the birds and the bees, and you have super telephoto and macro lenses. That's not the case with cine lenses. All come in a standard size or diameters. So should you give up your dreams and aspiration if you don't have a cine lens? Should you go as far as to drop out of film school since you don't have one? Absolutely not. Just because regular photo lenses don't have a bunch of markings on the outside and aren't made from all metal doesn't mean that you shouldn't make films with them. Photo lenses are great for both stills and recordings. For the price of one cine lens, you can buy all the photo lenses you need to shoot a movie. Furthermore, these days, photo lenses come with silent steps motors, and with a bit of practice, you can get a cinema-like focus. You don't need a cine lens if you're just starting out, because the lens itself won't make your movie a masterpiece, but your eyes and skills will. Yes, cine lenses offer much more control and other advantages over a photo lens, but you need skills and a lot more practice to make the most out of those features. Buying a lens worth thousands of dollars won't mean much if you can't use all its features. That was all about how cine lenses are different from photo lenses. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing for more videos like this.